is Father Larry Young. Behind me is a 2004 F-250 Super Duty truck. Okay, it belongs to the farm owners at this farm where I hang out on my day off or currently I'm on vacation. So I got three days left of my vacation that I want to devote to this truck. So what's wrong with it? It's got a bad engine. And they're going to have to take it to the salvage yard and get a few hundred bucks. What a shame for this big, beautiful truck. Nice four-wheel drive vehicle uh, for the for the farm here. Uh, wow, it should have a longer lifespan. It's only got 103,000 miles on it. So I felt bad, and I offered to try to pull this motor out and see what's wrong. So this is going to be a new challenge, a new adventure. So thanks for joining me on this, and God bless you. Hey, folks. All right, so day one is complete feel pretty good about it a uh, couple hairy moments one comical moment first thing I did uh, after taking the battery out of the car is I took the hood off and you know there's the hydraulic hood lifts there's this little clip that holds it in and that thing just went ping right into my trash barrel so I had to remove all the crap out of my trash barrel and fish around for that thing and found it eventually in the bottom and a bunch of sawdust so anyway got that uh the only other hairy thing that uh, had me nervous was these transmission uh cooling uh tubes uh they had uh, rust and scale all over these bolts so i had this um wrench on them but i had to wire brush them and soak them in wd-40 and i was nervous about that they were in such bad shape but I uh, used my, uh, you know, tube wrench and got it off. Okay, so uh, I removed the grill, removed this plastic kind of plastic, I don't know what you want to call it, mounting bracket for the grill. And then there's this one structural cross member that goes across here. Got that out of there. Got the radiator out and the fan shroud. Uh... So basically the idea is the engine is just going to come straight out. This thing's got a lift kit on top of being a very big truck. It's pretty high up. And somebody put a lift kit in it, so it's even higher. So with the uh, cherry picker, you know, engine hoist that I have, and, you know, it's going to be tough to get that up and over, you know, all of that. So the best thing to do is just remove all this so I can just raise it up and bring it straight out, hopefully. I don't have a problem. All right, so I soaked the engine mount bolts and the tranny bolts, uh, whatever. We'll see what we can get into tomorrow, but I left the trail of breadcrumbs for myself. Anything that I felt like it was necessary, uh, I took pictures of and uploaded them to my laptop right over here on the workbench and made notations of each step. Uh, so anyway, hopefully that'll come in handy because who knows when it's going to be before I finally get the engine to put back in there. I will probably forget most everything uh, of what I did. So anyway, that's it, folks. We'll see what we can get into tomorrow. God bless you. All right, day two, folks, on the engine removal. Phase one of this rescue mission. Rescuing this F-250 from the salvage yard. I rewatched the video of the guy, uh, this one video I found of a guy removing this uh, particular engine from an F-150, but uh, there's enough similarity that uh, it's definitely helpful. So uh, I uh, am going to be very cautious and careful today, go back and forth from my computer uh, to the truck and do it bit by bit, documenting what I'm doing. So we'll see is at the end of the day. Hey everybody, Father Larry now, day two is complete. Feel pretty good about it. I had an early on struggle for the first three and a half hours. I was trying to take the fan off, okay? So the fan clutch screws on here, but you know, this thing spins. Uh, so you gotta make this immobile so that you can unscrew the fan Apparently Ford makes some special tool. I don't know, but uh, I improvised. I went to Advanced Auto at one point and got 
rented a special tool, but it didn't do it. It, it didn't work. It, it was, uh, yeah, not going to work. So anyway, I just uh, had a piece of scrap heavy gauge steel that I drilled holes in and unscrewed two top bolts and uh, threaded them back through and then braced it over here on the tensioner and that froze it absolutely rock solid and then I was able to get a pipe wrench on the blasted thing and get it off that was a battle royale other than that I got a lot done get the harness off and uh, up top and all sorts of little things the throttle body just came off the cold air intake um, just all sorts of hoses and all sorts of things so anyway um, uh, tomorrow I got to get this plenum off get this water crossover out the intake out all that's going to open up the whole engine valley there um, and I got to deal with this air conditioning uh, so this is the condenser here that I'm able to just kind of lay over so I'm not going to uh, have to deal with evacuating the Freon from the system I'm going to be able to do this hopefully without disturbing the air conditioning um, other than that I feel pretty good about it I got a uh, you know, uh, disengage the, uh, the fuel lines. That's always kind of a struggle. I got the special tool for that, but uh, but that's a little tricky. So I'm a little concerned about that. Anytime you're dealing with fuel and fuel lines. But uh, anyway, then I got a lot of work to do underneath. I got to remove the drive axle and I got to start loosening up some of these bolts the bolts of the bell housing to the transmission, the starter bolts. There's some really uh, tough bolts I got to deal with down below. So I'll get everything I can do up here done tomorrow, hopefully, and start working down below. Um, and uh, that'll be it for my vacation, probably. I doubt I'll get anything done Saturday, maybe. And then I'll come back on the 4th of July on my day off, my next day off. And uh, maybe I'll get this thing out of here, but I don't wanna, I wanna be cautiously optimistic about that. Uh, but that's certainly the goal, is that maybe Monday, I can hoist this thing up and out. Uh, but let's keep our expectations low and let the good be a surprise. Till next time, God bless you. Hello, Father Larry here, day three now complete. Uh, I got the intake off. I found a bird's nest under there. Is that hilarious or what? Maybe a wren, I'm guessing? Um, they like to build nests uh, around humans, and um, but a cozy little nest right on top of the engine. I mean, right in the heart of the engine where it's unbelievably hot. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, I don't think they would have lived there very long if that <laughs> truck starts up. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, I got that out of there, disconnected the fuel lines, got the air conditioning out, removed the starter, O2 sensors, a bunch of little random stuff. So Monday, I hope to liberate this. Uh, I got the engine hoist here, so basically, I hook this up on here. And bolt this to the top of the engine, and uh, so I'm, I'm hopeful that uh, uh, we can get this done. So we'll see you then. God bless you. Hey, it's Father Larry, back for the final installment of this video. The engine removal of the Ford F-250. So I'm pretty excited uh, to have this thing out. I liberated it on the 4th of July. So I started last Wednesday, so it's six days of knuckle-busting uh, hard work, man. I'll tell you, this was a, a good challenge. I enjoyed it and just took it bit by bit.
but she's out now. Everything fought me, you know, different different things fight you along the way. So I had a battle royale with the exhaust pipes. Anybody that's done this kind of stuff would just laugh at that. <laughs> was, uh, certain things that are notorious for causing problems like the fan clutch, exhaust bolts, thank goodness for the cut wheel. So the sparks were flying today, man. I had to take the bumper off. That was another nice little surprise. So I couldn't get the engine hoist in deep enough to get a grip on the motor. So I had to take the bumper off and fight that thing for an hour. All these dry, dusty, rusty bolts uh, with very little room to work. And then one of the retaining clips busted off and I had to get the cut wheel out again and just cut the bolt. So anyway, uh, yeah, that's it. Um, this is my dad's old engine stand. I want to get it up on here uh, eventually. And uh, so the next video will be uh, solving the mystery of what went wrong with this engine. I'm just as excited as you are to see what happened inside here. And uh, then we'll come up with a solution, a plan moving forward of what we want to do. Uh, so anyway, until then, thanks for watching. God bless you.